Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a very passionate energy, an energy of newness, new beginnings. Um, you could be meeting someone here who feels some sort of spark towards you. This is someone who's very attracted to you, and um, I'm seeing a pursuing energy. So you could be attracting someone new here with this energy, um, but this person, it's like, it's almost like they felt a spark instantly with you. This is someone who's very attracted to you. They like your personality, um, your, how you carry yourself, um, your creativity. Um, this could be how you dress, um, just your whole being, your essence, um, but also your appearance. So there's a lot of uh, physical attraction, chemistry. This is someone who's really impressed by you and um, is wanting to initiate some sort of passionate beginning with you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Sagittarius. Okay, so the first card we have is the King of Swords, and this is Air Energy. Next, you have the Five of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so we, we do have the Ten of Wands in the reverse here. Um, and we have the Five of Swords. So this does look like some sort of a, conflict, a conflictual situation. You may be coming out of the situation though. Um, because we do see newness with this Ace of um, Wands energy. It's like starting afresh, um, having something new come into your life, something that excites you, something that, you know, makes you feel passionate, um, something that is, um, you know, intoxicating with the Ace of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords, you could have been involved in a situation that was unfulfilling. You could have been with someone who there was a lot of conflict, drama, chaos, not seeing eye to eye, vindictiveness, and mind game playing. However, with the Ten of Wands being there next to the Five of Swords, it's it's like you're going to drop that burden. There's something here in your life that isn't serving you. And if anything, it's depleting you. So this could be a relationship that is... Um, it's not really serving you. And um, if anything, it, it is also looking like it's a, a situation where you may feel unsupported with the Ten of Wands and you may even feel like it's a bit one-sided. And, you know, with the Ten of, with the Five of Swords, it's like an energy of you may voice your opinion to this person. And every time you do this, you could be speaking up for yourself, but this person takes it as... Um, you know, a, a, an excuse to start a conflict with you, or you guys don't see eye to eye. This person feels like you're, you're trying to challenge them when you try to express your concerns about the connection. Um, it, whatever it is with the Ten of Wands, it does look like you giving up on that situation, you giving up on that connection, because it's not really a connection that is in alignment. Um, you know, there is just this energy of a lost cause with the Five of Swords there. You know, it's like, um, it's, it, it almost feels like you guys are opponents instead of lovers. So you could be releasing that situation. Um, with the King of Swords, we are seeing someone here who's making a head over heart decision. Someone who is, you know, valuing their logic about above their feelings. So you could have feelings for this person. You guys could have a bond. But at the same time, 
it's not making sense something about the connection is not fulfilling um with the king of swords there you may be making some sort of strict decision judgment call and choosing to cut something out um but this is not like cutting out something that is good it, it, if anything it looks like a, you're cutting this out from a place of empowerment with the ten of wands in the reverse you're releasing that burden and we do see you attracting newness with the ace of wands so it does look like this could be a new person, this could be a new chapter, but it is one that is filled with more passion, more um, compatibility, um, more desire, more, um, you know, feeling valued, feeling appreciated. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the ace, I mean, the eight of wands, and this is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So again, an energy of communication, an energy of passion, enthusiasm, vibrancy, very beautiful energy. Someone here is really attracted to you. And um, it's like they're bringing something new to you. Um, you may have been in a, in, involved in situations where you were unappreciated. You may have felt it may, you may have been a connection where you were the one putting in all of the work and it, it still felt like it wasn't leading to anything. It felt like a lost cause. Um, but it's like this new connection or this new chapter situation, um, whatever it is, it's like it's pursuing you. You know, it's not like you're the one who's having to put in all of the labor and effort. It's like something here is coming your way. And we are seeing again back and forth communication here. So this is a mutual interest in each other. But we are seeing someone pursuing you. And um, this also does show um, it's like coming in quickly. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Sagittarius. So we have the King of Pentacles earth energy next we have the nine of pentacles earth energy and finally we have the queen of pentacles earth energy okay so this is very beautiful so there is again with the nine of pentacles under the five of swords you are definitely releasing this situation it's like you are becoming independent you're freeing yourself from this no longer being dependent on someone who um on a connection or on someone who isn't able to really match you um the nine of pentacles is knowing your worth this is honoring yourself holding yourself in high regard and also becoming self-sufficient it's it's pouring into your own cup this could be emotionally um you know loving yourself choosing yourself you know realizing that you don't need this situation you know there's better prospects out there for you and we do see you attracting someone who is your equal with the king and the queen of pentacles it's like yeah you may have been someone who was providing providing constantly being the giver but not receiving anything you know and it's like you are moving away from this energy and with this energy which we're, we're seeing two givers coming together you know, two people who actually are each other's equal. They both have something to offer. And um, they're both generous. They're both stable. They're both humble. They're both kind. And it's nice that um, they're both facing each other. You know, this is definitely you um, attracting your counterpart, your true counterpart, someone who will be your equal. And um, with the nine of pentacles being in the middle here, this does show independence, self-sufficiency. So you guys both have a lot of abundance. Um, this could be in spirits. This could be material. But it's like you guys are, you know, you, you're self-sufficient. You both bring something to the table. It's not like an imbalance. And um, together, you guys, um, you know, you can really create something quite prosperous. And we are seeing it's like a power couple here. You could even go into business with this person or create something um profitable in some sense here but there is this this is like the making of a ten of pentacles type of connection um you both are coming from this place of nine of pentacles and this is a good omen for the connection we are seeing stability long-term energy as well and compatibility so it's like 
you're releasing something that wasn't working, something that wasn't in alignment, something that wasn't compatible. And by doing this, you are telling the universe that you are ready for your divine counterpart and you're attracting that. Um, I don't see you having to go out to look for this person. This person will come to you because we do have you in a single energy, a self-love energy. It's like you're not going to have to chase this. You're not going to have to look for it. All you're doing is releasing something that isn't in alignment. And by doing so, you are attracting something that is. And we, again, with the Eight of um, Wands, it's like it's going to happen quickly. Once you decide to drop some sort of burden, um, this new blessing is coming quickly. We are also seeing a period of financial stability. Um, there's this energy of, um, with the Pentacles energy, feeling prosperous, being abundant. You could also be attracting someone who is wealthy or prosperous um, or abundant in some way, but also some Someone who's grounded and spiritual and wise okay so I, I do see this person is definitely someone who will this is a long-term connection this is something that can really last a long time and they share the same morals and values and beliefs as you when it comes to relationships and in general it's like you're connecting with your complementary partner this is someone who is you know like your your divine counterpart okay so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so the card says, luck is on your side new moon in Sagittarius. Okay, so you're highly favored at this time. I, I do see this is definitely a situation that's going to make you feel very blessed because we are seeing you attracting, you know, the ideal kind of partner. And not only are they conventionally ideal partner, it's like this is the ideal partner for you. This is your um, partner. This is someone who's in alignment with you. They are matching you and your energy. And, um, Again, with this, luck is on your side and it's, it's Sagittarius energy. Um, there is this energy of you becoming in alignment here and um, attracting a blessing here as well. So you're about to be very blessed in love. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So with this energy, I do see that you are moving towards someone who there will be this chemistry. There will be this. We do have the eight of wands, which is an energy of back and forth, mutual interest, lots of passion, lots of chemistry. But it's also grounded with this pentacles energy. This is something that, you know, can lead to a serious long term committed relationship. And um, with this chemistry energy and this attraction, this person, you are attracting them. They feel pulled towards you. It's like this is someone who is meant for you. Um, they will see your worth instantly. They will value you and treat you as such. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says, forget me not, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen and the memories you've made along the way. Okay, so there is also this energy of having to honor the the things of your past, the lessons, the, the um, you know, all, all of this stuff that has happened here has brought you to this place where you can honor it and accept it, take the lesson, but also let go of what no longer serves you, dropping this burden. And, um, you know, at the same time, it's like this situation led you to this place where you now know things that you previously were not aware of. You know your worth and you know what not to settle for. You know what you value, what you're looking for. There's just this energy of holding yourself in high regard and honoring what has led you to this place. Even if there were some tough lessons that led you here, it's like you can take the lesson, but let go of what no longer serves you. And, um, you know, it's like, again, it's like you're, you're, you've outgrown this situation, this painful situation 
in and your love life is now it's like you're leveling up in your love life and you are now connecting with someone who is more so your equal someone who is bringing something to the table that is clear you know it's like you guys can really build together from this place there's no imbalance okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius